Okay, here we are at 1088 Sarah Freeman Drive in Washington Township, Ohio, Centerville Schools, very popular Centerville Schools. This is the Washington Trace subdivision, very brand new as you can see. This is a brand new subdivision, still building. This home in particular was built last year, 2020. Nice exterior. So that's one of the things, this is an Ober home. Um, so a little bit about Washington Township, or sorry, sorry, Washington Trace, is that it has a lot of good amenities. Uh, so 19 different single family home designs, 5,000 square feet, centrally located clubhouse featuring a banquet room, exercise room, snack bar area, and 24 hour fitness center, resort like quality spa and swimming pool and a tennis and basketball courts and tot lots, which is basically like a little playground area, and multi multiple walking and biking trails with ponds and gazebos all throughout. Very nice uh, for about $1,000 a year. HOA fees, you get access to all that, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's kind of it. So Washington Trace, definitely up and coming. A lot of people are already buying into them. They have a quite a bit already sold and uh, so this one in particular is the Remington model four bedrooms three and a half bath going for four sixty seven nine partially finished basement and thirty five hundred square feet above ground so everything is pretty much new so I'm pretty much gonna breeze through this the exterior is nice you have the stone exterior Ober is one of my favorite builders I think they put better quality materials than some of the other ones that you see out there and um, I like them I'd feel comfortable buying a new build with Ober and um, so nice new everything all the concretes new you have a little bit of a front porch. One thing I like about Ober and their exterior designs, I think, especially uh, on this model, the big pillars that you that you see here, kind of makes it look more stately, maybe a little bit more elite, you know, for the neighborhood. Some of the other builders don't put that kind of quality in the big pillars up front. So actually, this is interesting. So this is a new build, and you always have when you have uh, ex excavation and that kind of stuff. Um, settling and you have it settling pretty quick and then so I, this is actually from settling so this isn't even a year old the walking path leading up to the front door already have a crack in the concrete so they probably can feel that uh, fill that in and seal it for you also there's some separating so what you're having is it's actually sinking down away from the house which is good you don't want it to sink towards the house because then the water will actually run towards the house if any water is pulled up shouldn't be too much of an issue with the overhang here but you are going to have some rains that kind of go this way and over time 20 years whatever it's going to start building up on it but anyway this is actually sloping outward away from the house so it's sloping down away from the house and you can see this gap is is indicative of that and also this crack here so but you have the stone finish mid uh i think they they call that a maybe a quarter quarter front piece um stone work here it's not the full piece going all the way up so you have like the mid and then the corner quarter basically you know the portion of the front that's actually um covered with it is kind of what you you go by so this is, looks like a little bit of a quarter stone work here then you have the, basically the composite wood so this isn't the real wood it's a composite wood um, some some builders call it hardy plank I don't know if that's like a separate company or not I think it's a separate company but hardy plank so it's kind of like a, a faux wood but it looks nice and it supposedly lasts longer and less maintenance than regular wood so that's kind of nice so this is the area, big power lines right there. Um, this is the next lot over. Those two houses have already sold, so very popular. One thing is, is basically that back area there, it's all uh, pretty much open space, but it's gonna be developed at some point. And that's the road that leads right into it. So at some point, it's gonna expand. But really no issues. I like to look at um, you know, the foundation, and the parging, which there's no parging actually on this because it's new. But the parging would be, you know, later on 
would have that to seal up any gaps that are cracks in it um, that occur over time so pretty much all new you have a window there to the basement this would be basically your Eden area Eden kitchen area and then a nice uh, regular wood deck a lot of times you're seeing the composite wood um, you know the composite materials they say always they always try to say, sell you on a lifetime um, guarantee a lot of times they don't even guarantee it but they say they will last a lifetime it's not the case they warp they fade you know around 10 to 20 years you're probably gonna have to repaint them maybe even replace them and that's probably about the same time for regular wood regular wood might actually be longer lifespan depending so you know it's a good idea and it's definitely nice I really love composite the look of it um, and but the one bad thing about composite and obviously this is regular wood but the bad thing about composite is usually it doesn't have enough indentations on it to allow grip so when you're walking on it it gets slippery in the wet so you know if it doesn't have some sort of gritty um, surface it could actually be a slipping hazard on the composite decking regular decking does too actually um, but not as much because the composite's usually a smoother finish a smoother across the board finish but it just kind of depends there's multiple types this is the exterior of the fireplace this is the egress from the basement your AC unit all brand new Bryant another window then you have your exhaust vents probably from your washer and dryer maybe your furnace and again with the stone faux, faux stone front So really no issues a lot of times I like to focus if there's it's an older home existing home I like to focus on some of the issues you might see on the exterior but there's really nothing to really see here just nice all nice okay well that is it again Howie with home experts team next very happy to do these tours for you if you have any other questions or want anything else let me know and we'll do the inside shortly. Thanks.